Hi, I'm Keith Cunterbout, philosopher, humanitarian, sex pest. Well, 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 a new year, a fresh start, a chance for us to put the grievances and mistakes of the past behind us, a chance to reapply ourselves with renewed energy and enthusiasm to the various commitments to which we're all bound in life, a chance to improve ourselves, to be aware of our flaws, our weaknesses, and to work every day to overcome them, to be aware of our skills and attributes, and to use them to their full advantage. But whilst we can work on ourselves, of course, there's not much we can do about the world around us continuing to turn to absolute shit. We currently got one of the greatest tennis players of all time being treated like a serial killer in Melbourne because he won't have a vaccine, even though he was invited to participate in the Australian Open under the pretext that he didn't need a vaccine. What this pandemic has shown us is that cities and countries that pride themselves on being super liberal, like Melbourne, Canada, New Zealand, when given the excuse of COVID restrictions and vaccination mandates, these places and their people actually display themselves to have deeply fascistic tendencies. And of course, as we know from the past several years of culture war bollocks, the same pattern can be seen in individuals. The more ostentatiously liberal someone presents themselves to be, whether it be blue hair, nose piercings, t-shirts with political slogans, whatever, the more frequent and dogmatic their virtue signalling on social media, the more likely they are to join in with some vile witch hunt to destroy some public figure's livelihood and reputation because they've expressed an opinion that they disagree with. On this spinning shitball in space that we currently inhabit, everything's upside down and back to front, isn't it? Liberal actually means tyrannical, and being conservative means having an overt commitment to civil liberties and personal freedom. It's a fucked up, end of day civilization we find ourselves a part of, and as we plough relentlessly into 2022, who knows what hideous fucking apocalyptic hellscape we'll all be inhabiting this time next year. Have a lovely day, people. Take care. Be lucky.